guys. So this is what, part three or something of this video. Um, part one and two I did. I showed you how to cut down plastic foundation strips and how to attach them to the top of frames for the brood starter strips. Um, now I'm going to show you how to drill holes in the sides. So I drill holes in the sides of the frames because you can use bobby pins, just plain old bobby pins. Got a yellow jacket flying around there. Perfect. They like, don't sting me seriously. I hate yellow jackets. They smell the beeswax. But, um, anyway, bobbing pins fit. If you squeeze the wide end, you can shove it through this hole here that I drill. And I use a quarter inch drill bit. A quarter inch is the perfect size for this just to barely not be able to get through. It's flush. So if you pull it this way, you can see it's, let me see if I can show you better. It's flush here, so it's not sticking out the side of the frame towards the inside of the box. It's just a little tiny nub that gets stuck on the edge. And then when the bees draw this comb down, you can kind of wedge open the bobby pin as you stick it through the drawn foundation, if that makes sense. So basically, as you're sticking it through, you'll be wedging it apart. So, really? Gosh, these are all over the place right now. So that when, pretend this is drawn wax, <laughs> you kind of go ahead and pinch it like that. And it braces the natural wax foundation that they've built just a little bit. It just gives them a little bit more. Again, this is optional. If you're really careful with your frames when you're doing inspection and you keep them like this um, vertical, you won't have an issue, but as soon as you do this, if there's any type of weight in this, there's you risk the chance of it falling and snapping off. So this kind of just anchors it a little bit this way in case you happen to have to go horizontal. It'll give a little bit more structure here and here and kind of anchor it to the sides, if that makes sense. So this one's already drilled, but I'll go ahead and show you how to do this one. What I did is I just ran a line down the center of the frame. Again, these frames were originally bought and intended just to be the pop-in plastic foundation frames. So that's why they don't come with the holes. They come with the groove slot in the bottom and the top because you're just supposed to pop in those foundations. But we're modifying this. Uh, we're making our own, blazing our own path, if you will, um, to all of the, to kind of put all the things that we've learned together and make one killer frame. So let's go ahead and get started. What I did is I just used a ruler and flip it upside down. The top is wider and it just makes it a lot easier to work with if you just lay on the surface of the table. And then I just took a ruler, any ruler will do. I just happen to have this 90 degree thing out here. What I'm doing is I am just, there's a groove here there's a groove here and I'm just lining them up so I can get the center of the frame. Once I line them up, I'm just gonna run a, this is just a wax pencil. I use these for a lot of things because they come off and just have them laying around everywhere. <laughs> so, and they're easy to see on camera. So there you go. Now I have a straight line up the center of the frame and you just drill holes. Doesn't need to be exact, doesn't need to be perfect, just needs to be on the line. You can do two or three. I'm probably just going to do two on the rest of these because I think three is a little overkill. The third one would be typically on the top, but since we have the starter foundation frame to give them a little bit of base support, we don't really need three. So I'll just go ahead and do two. You can see there's a wider part here on the frame when that narrows. I typically try to get one, I don't know, right where it starts. Again, it doesn't really matter. Let's just, I just do it for some reason. Here we go. There you go. 
two holes in the frame. Okay, now again, like I said, you can just use a regular bobby pin and go ahead and squeeze the two ends together and push it through the hole. Now, as it goes through, okay, let's see if I can get this good angle. As it goes through, you can spread these tines apart and basically capture wherever that natural beeswax is. I'm not going to use these bobby pins, obviously, until they start drying out the wax foundation frame, but I figured I better have these <coughs> holes in here because it's going to be very hard to do when it's covered with bees or has, you know, fragile wax or brood on this frame. I don't want to be drilling holes into it then. I want to have those holes there and ready to go. So all I have to do is take the frame out, you know, hold it steady and just kind of navigate these support pins through the drawn, drawn foundation. All right, so now I'm just gonna do one more side. All right, that's it. So for the time being, these frames are done. I'll just go ahead and stick these in my storage and they'll be ready to go in case I have a new um, hive or I need to put these in a brood a brood box typically I need these more in the spring and going into the summer when they're expanding but give it a shot because I just made I'm really excited about these frames <laughs> I just made a really awesome frame out of what I thought was gonna be garbage but I made it made it work so all right let me know if you have any questions hopefully that helped and I mean I probably spent a day a day transferring all these frames over, but I think it's going to be well worth it in the long run. Bye.